In this video, we'll talk about histone variants. When we think about histones, these names come in our mind, H3, H4, H2A and H2B. These are canonical histones that are found in all the nucleosomes in our chromosomes. But alongside these histones, there are many other histone variants such as H2AZ, H3.3, Gamma H2X, etc. All of these are not similar to the canonical histones. They differ in few amino acids and that's make them different and special. So histone variants confer specific structural properties that makes them different from other histones. And they can carry out specialized functions such as DNA repair, chromosome segregation, transcription initiation, and also they might have tissue specific role. In this video, we'll talk about these histone variants. So let's build up from basics. Histones are basic proteins having the amino acids lysine or arginine. They can be found in the nucleus of the eukaryotic cell where they are part of the nucleosome. So H3 and H4 forms dimer. Eventually H2A and H2B also forms dimer. Ultimately they assemble in form of a tetramer and H3, H4 tetramer, H2, H2B tetramer together forms the core histone octamer. And this octamer is wrapped around by the DNA and that is called nucleosome, the fundamental unit of a chromatin. Now there are several histone variant types such as H3.3. This particular variant is highly enriched in euchromatin and this is characterized by very high level of histone acetylation. Presence of H3.3 is strongly correlated with transcription initiation. Similarly, another variant H2AZ is actually associated with the transcription start site. And basically H2AZ is a variant of H2A histone and the difference lies in the C terminal tail. The other structures are pretty much same. Now studies have suggested that H3.3 containing nucleosomes are less stable. So what is the mechanism? It turns out that when there is a composition of H2AZ and H3.3 in a nucleosome, the DNA histone interaction and the histone histone interactions are now weakened. As a result, the DNA is loosely wrapped around the nucleosome and sometimes it creates more accessible chromatin which is more accessible for transcription factor binding and thus it can recruit RNA polymerase and start the transcription initiation. That is why as a take home message is H3.3 is associated with transcriptionally active chromatin. Now question is who deposits H3.3 in the nucleosome of actively transcribed genes? There are specific molecules known as histone chaperones. One such example is the HERA complex that deposits H3.3 into the euchromatin regions. Now, Question is how H2AZ is incorporated in the chromatin just like H3.3. There are specific ATP dependent chromatin rebordlers that are responsible for the incorporation of H2AZ such as P400 family and SR cap family proteins actually incorporate H2AZ in the nucleosome. So these are both SWR1 type of chromatin remodeling proteins. So what we learned so far that histone variant H3.3 and H2AZ are mostly associated with activated genes. H3.3 can be found in several regions like promoters, gene bodies, cis regulatory elements and mostly H2AZ is found in the promoter region in the start transcription start site. And things would be more clear if one can look at the chip sequencing profile of H3.3 and H2AZ. One can clearly appreciate that in the transcription start site, there is the mark for both H3.3 and H2AZ. However, H3.3 can be found throughout the gene body as well. So histone chip seek is a very good method to understand or study histone variants. If you want to learn more about the basic principles of chip seek, click on the video in the uh, I button. Now let, me, let us tell, tell you that different type of chromatin is associated with different histone variants. So if we take a look at the euchromatin and the heterochromatin region, we would find 
variants like H2AZ and H3.3 in euchromatin region, whereas the heterochromatin region would be enriched in H3.1, H3.2, or the centromeric heterochromatin region would be highly enriched in SENP-A, macro H2A, these kind of histone variants. So histone variants is kind of determining the chromatin accessibility and chromosome state, which is super important to understand gene expression regulation. Now there is another H2A variant known as gamma H2X, which is a novel biomarker for double-stranded DNA break. Where there is a double-stranded DNA break, gamma H2X is recruited. Now gamma H2X along with its friends such as ATM or ATR kinases recruit the DNA repair machinery. And this is super important for cell survivability. That is why these histone variants are really important. So in this video, we looked at quite a lot of histone variants and how they function differently from the normal histones. Besides a structural role, they play defined functional role as well. You can get more notes and flashcards in my Facebook page. You can also follow us on Instagram to get more notes. You can support our channel via super thanks and see you in next video.